Daniel Jones, it is confirmed by Brian Dayball, is done for the season. He tore his ACL yesterday. And now Tommy DeVito, formerly of Syracuse and Illinois, who throws a nice deep ball. He's got a gun. Like, I like the kid, but I don't know that he's necessarily ready for NFL primetime action here. Nope. Didn't look good yesterday. Tommy DeVito with Matt Barkley recently signed off the couch. When I say recently, I mean last week, like four days ago, as now the backup because Tyrod was put on injured reserve on Saturday. So he's out for a while. So Tommy DeVito and the New York Giants are, if you're keeping track of these things for recreational purposes, now a 15 and a half point underdog this week on the road in Dallas. So Tommy DeVito and the Giants are likely just what the Cowboys need to bounce back from this because they have won 11 consecutive home games, which is the longest active winning streak in the NFL now that the Niners lost last week at home to Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. It is fair to ask what Daniel Jones' future is now in New York because the Giants at 2-7 and seven, and with Tommy DeVito at quarterback, and Evan Neal injuring an ankle yesterday. Don't know how severe and how serious, but again, something to monitor. You have a hard time going down the Giants' schedule and finding many victories. The Giants, in all likelihood, and Brian Dayball is the reigning coach of the year, and I fully support the guy. I love the guy. It's going to be difficult for Brian Dayball to piece together victories here down the stretch. So... With Tommy DeVito at quarterback, the Giants are in that conversation for a top five pick next year. They go to Dallas, to Washington, home for the Patriots. Who knows about that one? Green Bay, New Orleans, Philadelphia, the Rams, the Eagles. I mean, it, it, it's not a horrible schedule, but it is a we're picking in the top seven to eight schedule right now, if not the top five. Daniel Jones is guaranteed $36 million in 2024. And at that point, there is a clean out in the contract. There'd be dead cap. There'd be an acceleration. But in essence, the Giants can get out next year, at the end of next year. And it would have been a two-year $82 million deal at that point. Now, a lot of time between now and then. I think Daniel Jones is a good quarterback who can play in this league. And if the Giants want to move on from Daniel Jones because they find themselves in position to draft somebody high next year that they think is the future, Daniel Jones will go somewhere else and be a winning cornerback. I am convinced of that. I said corner, I meant quarter. Maybe switching position would help. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> uh, Daniel Jones is a good quarterback whose offensive line was decimated this year and then everything fell apart around him. And then he fell apart. But the big question in New York is not only... When will he come back and what team will he come back to? But why was he back on the field? Brian Dayball reiterated today that, because remember, he, he tweaked the knee, left, said he was okay, then went back in and then no contact went down. Said he repeatedly told us he was fine. The trainer said he was fine. And then he tore his ACL. Was it torn when he went back out there? Who knows? It doesn't matter. He's done. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.